What if I told you there was a brand new tech tool that could potentially save you as a teacher so much time? Now, if you've been on any of my CPD this academic year, you will know I've been talking and showcasing the potential of using AI in the classroom. And unless you've been sleeping under a rock over the past couple of weeks, I'm sure you've seen this new tool, ChatGPT. It's from OpenAI and is a conversational AI tool that can present and answer questions and it is both incredibly impressive but also a little bit scary. I've seen lots of discussion already about how this might potentially affect and impact education but as I always say technology is never going to replace teachers but teachers can be so much better when they effectively embrace technology. We've been working on creating resources on MrPICT.com around AI including updating the knowledge progression documents and including some AI projects for our DARES computer in schema work. But in this video, I want to explore how ChatGPT might help us as teachers with more of the time-consuming tasks we're expected to do. And I'm not saying you should and must use these tools, but I'm sure there'll be something in here that might save you a little bit of time. As always, it's about how you choose to use it, and AI will always tell you it can never be 100% accurate. But I'm hoping you might find a couple of these ideas useful. Straight away, I'm thinking it's a quick and easy way to access model text. As you can see here, I'm asking ChatGPT to write a newspaper article about a dinosaur bone found at a school, and I'm adding some useful features to include. And this is what it generates. If you are doing some model shared writing and you struggle to generate ideas, the tool can also be used to up-level simple sentences, making them more descriptive, as you can see here, or even using tools such as Show Not Tell to really improve some of your writing. I even asked it to give some feedback to some sentences my students had written. Now, it was quite generic, the feedback, as you can see, and some of the language is more American, so period instead of full stops. And I wonder whether I could tailor that feedback depending on what we've been looking at in class, but this is what it generated. I love the fact you can ask it to explain concepts in a child-friendly way. So helping you when it comes to planning your lessons and delivering explanations that are clear and easily understandable for your pupils. I'm working in year four, we're looking at the digestive system. How can I explain it in a child-friendly way? This is what it generated. Now, if you ask any teacher a time-consuming task that doesn't always impact teaching and learning. Sometimes that can be lesson planning, especially if you're in a school that the lesson plans aren't for you, but more for ticking boxes. This is what it did when I asked it to generate a lesson plan around the digestive system. Now let's say in a lesson the children made a lot more progress than you anticipated and grasped the concept quicker than you expected. Can this tool be used to quickly generate some questions to check children's understanding? The answer is yes, and oh, if you need the answers to those questions, just ask for that as well. And it works in other subjects as well. In maths, a group of children have whizzed through the questions I've set. I need to now challenge them a little bit more. I can quickly generate questions like so. Not only can you ask for the questions, you can also ask it to explain the best, most efficient method to solve one of the questions. And the last idea for now is that you can ask it to generate a letter to parents about something going on in the school and it will quickly put a letter together for you. Hopefully you can see there the potential to this tool is massive. Now it's currently free. How long that's going to last, I don't know as I hear. It's very expensive to run and I want to reinforce again, I'm not suggesting you have to use it in the ways I've shown you. I'm just showcasing the potential to it. Hopefully there might be something there that might save you a bit of time, which is what it's all about, which I'm all about with the use of technology for me as a teacher. If you're interested in more exciting ways in which you can use AI in the classroom with your pupils, head over to my website, mrpict.com. We're gonna be adding so much more AI content over the next couple of months, so stay tuned for that. And thank you very much for watching. I'd love to hear more ways in which you've used this tool in the classroom, so do let me know in the comments.